Between 80s mullet and future SC, upper right hand corner. Is this? No, this is sorry. Bottom right hand corner. This almost looks brown, even though it's pink. Bottom right hand corner, we have 80s mullet as the pink Terran. Upper left hand corner, we have future as the brown Terran. This is a ASL map or ladder map from last season, but you guys might not be familiar with it if you just restarted watching commentary with me. This is Shakura's Plateau, natural expansion down here, a little bit of a wide rampless, uh, and this is kind of a wide ramp here as well, which makes Celts a little bit stronger, and then kind of an inverted, inverted meaning like facing the opposite direction from the right there ramp. I don't know. I feel like ramps usually naturally go bottom like this way, and this one's whatever. You guys know what I'm saying. It goes up to this uh, kind of pocketed natural expansion with a little bit of a wall in between. So it's kind of, it's there, it's close to your base, but a little bit hard to take. Gas expansions at the cardinal directions otherwise. So basically a lot of minerals, this is more of a macro oriented map, a lot of minerals all over the place, including 2020 minerals in the middle. Represent 2020, what a terrible year. What a terrible, terrible year for everybody. Go ahead and take reveal map off. It is a four player map, it is a larger map. More macro oriented map. Supply Depot being built. I believe this is out of the ladder rotation now. I'm not 100% positive on that. Um, I could be totally wrong. And this could just be in ladder rotation, just be one that Artosis and other people ban. This is one of those things where if I played more ladder, I would know. Barracks, kind of in a back corner. I don't, is this, I'm, not, I'm curious about the spacing for the Marines to be able to run through that corner. I don't expect to see early game zealot pressure from future. Although, you never know. Because this is a four-player map. It's a large macro map. And it's a little bit... The reinforcement point, as you can see, is just wide. Which might end up playing towards 80's mullet favor. I think it's... I don't know if it's loser's pick or it's winner's pick as far as map selection. 80's mullet. Gonna go ahead and scout. To the upper right-hand corner first. Should get a follow-up look at Future's base. Future, yeah, keeping that gateway silent wisely. And getting a cybernetic score up as well. Three probes in gas. And opting immediately for a second gateway. So he wants to go for early Dragoon pressure, it looks like. Against 80's mullet. 80's is producing that initial marine, just in case, but pulling SCVs off gas to get an initial factory, but probably go for one factory and to expand. And I've seen Future win a lot of games this way with the early Dragoon pressure. Sneaking in, picking off siege tanks, keeping that siege tank count low, and then just following up with just overwhelming forces. Is opting to produce a an initial zealot. Has Dragoon range whirling up. I almost feel like, I don't want to say this is like, a, oh, this is a waste of resources, get it. <laughs> and as, he, as I say that, he's actually able to do some damage on this SCV and drive it off. 80's mullet actually not able to get into the base. He knows there's a gateway. He knows there's a zealot there, but not able to get a good look otherwise. And maybe feeling the timing that Dragoon would be out not too long. But he's... I'm not sure if maybe he had this on waypoint? Not sure what's going on there. Bunker is going to be up on the front door with some marines in it, which with, with the factory behind there, 80's mullet should actually be able to build the command center on the low ground without having to float it out. Yeah, I think he was just, it was waypointed, ran into something and ended up going to the bottom left hand corner accidentally. Now making its way back across, but unfortunately Dragoons will be there, perhaps to take this out. The Zealot's doing the scouting for future here. So not not even opting to send out a probe scout is just going to do it with just pure Zealot. And a second SCV is making its way, yeah, cross positions. <laughs> There's units all over the map now. You've got future trying to find 80's base, and 80's wanting desperately to get a scout and might actually be able to do it, because the Dragoons... Not able to engage that SCV mid position, and that ramp is not blocked, so should be able to wander in and see this two gate to start. Is building that command center in that back corner. This is going to be once this all gathers up. Oh, I take it back. Two dragoons do get there. Should be able to take that SCV out, but with this, with the two dragoons there and that full complement, I think 80s does know what he's up against. He's going to need a machine shop and siege tanks in a hurry, and is going to need additional, a lot of SCVs. Honestly, maybe should think about pulling SCVs off the line right now to try to, to help defend this. Marine will be produced. Would have been at risk. Taking one shot for the Dragoon, but is able to back off. Here's the problem with the Marines producing out of this barracks is they produce in that bottom left-hand corner. Four Dragoons and a Zealot now on the front. Which 
puts that siege tank at great risk. SCV's coming off the line. He's going to need four SCVs to repair this. He's trying to get a turret down because he's thinking DTs might be following this up. Pure gateway, though. Three Dragoons left versus three Marines and a single siege tank. Plenty of SCVs to blockade, but this is going to disrupt early game mining. And this is going to delay things. Siege, two siege tanks up, tank sieging in that back corner. Future over engaging a little bit and ends up losing two Dragoons as a result. We'll see once some more Dragoons reinforce this, which it looks like he is just producing. Yeah, actually, I take it back. 80s Mullet has a good sense on this. Citadel of Adun and Templar Archives to follow. SCV trying to get another bunker down, trying to get that turret up a little bit early. And again, bleeding Dragoons here on the front. And so the early game Gambit, I honestly would want to see a cancellation on this Templar Archives. Or maybe we'll see a Robo to follow. Still wants to try to press this. Maybe he can sneak up with these Dragoons and pick off that turret and push a DT in. But otherwise, future in a bad position. Early game Gambit ended up losing a lot of Dragoons, honestly more than he should have. Natural Expansion is up, so he's behind economically. He's trying to plant that Nexus. Has a Templar Archives, but is keeping his gateway silent as far as Invisible Men production. Which, by the way, great YouTube channel. Makes fun of, uh, <laughs> has good Artosis clips. Not makes fun of, indulges in Artosis salt. Check that one out. <laughs> Five Dragoons. Fanning out to provide a little bit of map control, deny any additional scouting. Three siege tanks on the back line. Well staggered. So 80s mullet feeling very, very secure. Engineering Bay kind of flowing out that corner to see any sort of drops incoming. Academy is up. Second factory being plant planted down a CompSat station on the way. And Future following this up with a little bit of... I like this. So he's like, okay, I've got... I've got Dragoons. So I can maybe... Stop any sort of vultures sneaking across. I know 80s Molt is very much in a defensive position. So let me go ahead and cut unit production altogether. Get one DT for some map control. Seal in this... What is that? 11 o'clock base? Seal in this 11 o'clock base. And go ahead and double expand. To try to catch up economically. And produce probes at an accelerated rate. Not going to get a lot done with that DT as far as sneaking into the main. Plenty of siege tanks to deal with this. More missile turrets being snuck from 80s mullet. The one detriment to doing this sort of build is that if 80s followed this up with a lot of vultures, a lot of vulture pressure, it would be very difficult for future to counter. Because no observatory, no observers, things along those lines. We see a starport being dropped. So maybe thinking about, yeah, going mines and vultures to try to counter this. That would actually be a great play. We'll see if he upgrade one upgrades mines. I think he realizes this. He's getting additional factories. Machine shop's still silent, though. I think he's going to go for a vulture drop. And that could be very, very painful at this 11 o'clock base to get reinforcements up there and could really cut into Future's economy. Now getting that robotics facility... I'm very concerned for Future's future. Handful of Dragoons on the front. He is catching up economically. He's managed to get up to the 35 probe count. And is actually, even in supply, he wants to be ahead. Looks like speed is being upgraded first. Psystorm being upgraded as well. For Future. Knowing that he's going to be a little bit, because he went for that double expand, going to be a little bit lighter kind of in the mid-game. So wants to have High Templar and Psystorm to deal with any potential push. Maybe on the front coming out from 80s. 80s getting a 5th factory as well. Armory is spinning to get weapons won. And is just now loading up those 4 vultures. But he's taking a very southerly pass. And Will Future, he does not see that with his Dark Templar. The Dark Templar was going to be that invisible man providing some scouting right there. Does not see it. 80s Mullet moving out a little bit with the siege tanks. And actually this might be a 2 pronged attack. Realizing Future went for that double expand. So putting on a lot of pressure. One Dragoon dying, I think, to... I don't know if their mines are upgraded. Dark Templar able to get a free few, uh, a few free hits on those siege tanks. Is there any... There is CompSat energy there. I'm not sure if 80s Mullet just doesn't realize that ETs... There he does. Yeah, okay. Able to take that Dark Templar out. High Templar are there. Psystorm is upgraded. 
some Psystorms might be able to wipe this out, but these Vultures are waiting nearby, and it looks like he actually might just opt. We'll see if he opts to engage and do a two-pronged attack. Yeah, gonna attack that location, drop off a single Vulture here, and just use Future's lack of units in the mid game to wipe out absolutely everything. Vultures wandering up into the main. Single Vulture, looks like it was taken out there. Some mines planted, some probes trying to attack the mines, and those siege tanks wandering up and should be able to kill a lot there. Oh, huge mine at the main, taking out a Dragoon and a lot of probes. This is looking ugly now. Nice counter follow up here by Future. And more Vultures sneaking their way across. Reinforcements trying to get halted by with some Dark Templar, a couple units just to stop the flow of reinforcements winking their way across. It's a couple Dark Templar out in the field, but plenty of Comsat and some mines to deal with this. These Vultures still in the main. Eight kills there, and Future's economy is obliterated. He's down to 23 probes. His natural expansion's mining, but he lost his third. Mullet might end up losing some of these tanks. Looks like there was some High Templar. How did they get there? We're able to get some si some counter size storm off. Was there a shuttle? I think they just walked there. Wow. So Future is showing some, some counter scrap. But I still feel like 80's Mullet got the better overall exchange there. And he's continuing to flood a lot of units out. Future desperately trying to sneak an expansion in that upper end corner. Just hoping that doesn't get scouted. Maybe there... I, I gotta assume that a shuttle... Did he even have a robotic... Yeah, he did have a robo. He's getting another shuttle up. So I missed the shuttle drop. But this is a lot of vultures making their way across. And not a lot of units to, to defend it. And a single siege tank, honestly, that can just wail against this from this back corner. There is maybe some size storms can hold this back, but you can just see Mullet streaming the units. He smells the blood in the water. He's going to go ahead and take his third. Good size storm. Actually cleaning out enough vultures with the Dragoons reinforcing and without any mines planted might be able to continue to press through this. He just needs a zealot or something to try to clear that minefield. He's getting backed up into his base further. More siege tanks pushing in a reinforcement. A dragoon gonna try to get a mine drag. Unfortunately, not quite in location to do it. And while that's happening, the vulture is gonna sneak forward. Archon warping in, so no additional size storm to support this. More siege tanks moving up. Good mine drag into the dragoons. More dragoons getting wiped out. Two siege tanks with it though, but still more reinforcements making their way across. Archon is up. Shuttle kind of fainting. Some counter pressure. If 80's mullet is not able to push this attack, Future can sneak back into this match because he does have that third up. Another good mind drag gets two more vultures, but there are vultures at that natural expansion, and yeah, Future just doesn't have enough troops to fight it off. So Future having a very creative opening, 80's mullet countering it, honestly, I think perfectly. Would have been further over if it wasn't for that Psy Storm drop. Let's see if I can go back and catch it. A little bit too... Some swoops. Play for play. Kind of a nice, nice little counterplay. This is way too far back. Let's get here. Still haven't seen the push yet. Here it is. So I missed. So this is still up. Four minutes. When did this even sneak through? Yeah, okay. Shuttle. So I assume the shuttle got taken out alongside with it. But still, good drop. Got a handful of SCVs. How many SCVs did he get? Three. Six. Six SCVs. Honestly, six SCVs for that many High Templar in the shuttle, maybe not worth it at this stage. But I like the attempt. Anyway, gonna move on to game four. Mullet has won one. Future's taken down two in this best of five. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.